Hi everyone, hope you are doing well. So in this video, we will see how we can create a snack bar. So snack bar is used to display a small set of information or if you want to perform some actions, so we can use snack bar. As we know, the snack bar appear for some duration and it automatically got disappear after that duration got expired. Okay. So now we will see how we can create this snack bar in the compose. We will go to our code. So whenever we click on this button, we need to display a snack bar. Okay. So in compose, everything come with a state. So to create the state of a compose, there is an inbuilt function, which is called snack bar host state. So we will use the same here. So we will use the snack bar host. Just create a snack bar host here. Well, snack bar host state. And this will be remember. Now here we will use snack bar host it. Okay. Now we need to pass this snack bar host it to a top fold snack bar host. So if you see here, we have function snack bar host. Okay. Now here we need to create a snack bar host. So a snack bar host. And its state will be defined by this variable snack bar host it. Okay. Now we have created this snack bar host state. Now this variable will be responsible for displaying a snack bar. So whenever we click on this button and from here we will use snack bar host state dot so snack bar and here we can define our message perform action on click. Okay. Now, if you see here, we are getting the error because so snack bar is a suspend function. So we cannot call a suspend function from a non suspend block. So we need to create a coroutine scope. So in compose, we can create a coroutine scope within this block also. So we will use well snack bar scope to remember protein scope so this will be safe because whenever there is a click at that time we are launching this coroutine okay so there is no issue of cancellation and other stuff because this will be trigger only when we do a click okay so this is safe to use inside this block so we will use a snack bar scope dot launch now we can move this code to this block okay now you can see they are got disappear now we can just verify this on the device okay now i have set on this floating action button which is in center so whenever i click on this button you can see the snack bar appears and it wait for some time and it automatically got disappear okay now, next thing is, let's say you want to change the duration or you want to add an action to the snack bar. So we can do the same. So if you see this so snack bar return a snack bar result. Okay. Well, snack bar result is equal to this one. Now in this so snack bar, we want to add an action. So in this so snack bar, uh, we can have other parameter also. If you see here, we have this action label and with dismiss action and duration. Okay, so we will use this action label and action label will be retry and duration will be snack bar duration dot long. Okay, now we have this result. Now we can verify. So if you want to perform action, we can use this one snack bar result. Snack bar result dot action perform. So these are standard actions. So if you see here, we have action performed similar way. We if you want to perform something on dismiss of the snack bar, we can do. So currently we focus on this action perform. So as we know, the snack bar can have only one action so we know the user have clicked on retry so we can perform some action here so maybe we can display uh, another uh, toast from here maybe we can use 
snack bar host date and here we can use message congratulations we can just verify device okay now when i click on this one we have a section i click on this section it will display a second snack bar and now let's say you want to ch change the action color or other colors so we can do the same so we will go to this host so if you see this host so here what we need to do uh, we need to pass a parameter here so now we can create our own snack bar here so we will say snack bar Okay, now in this snack bar, we can see attributes, a container color. So container color will be color dot red. Now next will be your action color. Action color is equal to, so in the action color, we can pass the same color dot green. Okay, now here we need to pass a snack bar data so we are receiving the snack bar data from here so we can just pass this data to this function okay now you can see we have defined the container color we have defined the action color so now you can verify Okay, now you can see uh, this is snack bar background color got changed and similarly red tri color got changed and it will automatically got disappear and we have this snack bar I click on this red try and if I have a second snack bar okay so that much for this video in the next video we will see how we can use navigation drawer so stay tuned for further updates